right welcome back to another Wayne Wright adventure and today we're going to finish off the Western Fells by doing the famous Mosedale Horseshoe six Wayne Wrights today first we're going up the nose of Kirk Fell I've been putting that off for several years now because it's very steep and then round onto Pillar and then uh, Scott Fell steeple Red Pike and down via U Barrow Got wet guests once again this week, Mr. Dave Glenn Hewitt and his boy Connor, was it? Connor? Connor? Nicholas. Nicholas, one of them. But aye. Fairly clagged in at the moment, although Lingmel seems to be clearing and it was beautiful along the Whitehaven coast. Right. The ascent begins, 800 odd metres, all the way up that, yippee. I have to say Ling Metal the other week is very similar straight up, but and that wasn't too bad. But uh, if I can get up here in three hours, I'll be, <laughs> I'll be quite happy with that. Oh wait. Ah, it is starting to clear. Coles cleared where we were two days ago now as we went up to Ilgill Head. Right. Fingers crossed. Alright, getting warmed up a little bit now. Dave's son Nicholas, boxing legend, bombing up ahead, showing us all time as how it's done. Need a rush, I think the longer we take the better it's gonna to get today. With a bit of luck. And this is the most of the ascent for the day really, once you get up here, gradual up onto pillar. It's just fairly short ups and downs to pick up the other four from there. Right. Got some good views up Tull Valley there. Ah, it's improving, it's improving. Procrastinating, <laughs> that's my middle name. Like I say, I've put this walk off for three years now. I never fancied this, look at it. I watched a video, I think it was the Reluctant Fell Runner. Great channel, you should check him out. He runs up this. I think he filmed the whole bloody way. So, it was about 35, 40 minute video. Just bombing it up this hill. I'm going to be crawling in a minute. Didn't fancy Dave's chances. The stairway to heaven. Because most folk dee at the top. Oh well. But yeah, coming to the end, this is the last big walk. As I say before, a wild camp on Binzi. The single only Wainwright I won't have been on after this round. I'm very much looking forward to it. I don't know how much filming I'm going to do on that. I'm hopefully going to get a few guests with me that day. But I'll be bringing about eight cans of cider, some whiskey, and maybe a big cigar as well. I did also promise my fans if uh, on Facebook, if I got to 500 subscribers by the end of March, I dance on the summit in my speedos. Stay tuned to find out if that happens. But it's unlikely. Maybe after one or two weird beers. Oh, it's actually not that bad, really. All you're doing is climbing, not wasting any time, just gaining distance, just elevation all the way. You just focused. Nice big footholds, I suppose. So I guess it's not to worry about. Otherwise, the path wouldn't be here, I suppose. God knows where Nicholas has gone. I think he's hiding behind that rock there. Oh, there he is. Must have been having a piss. Oh. All right, a little bit of respite on this rock here before more ups. 
Dave still alive? Just, I think. Is he? <laughs> Knee rush, like I say. We're a team. <laughs> this valley's cracking. I've never been up here. One for a future walk, which is uh, hi. I won't be coming back to Wasdale for a while after this route. <laughs> I absolutely hate driving along that. Said it numerous times. The Whitehaven Sellafield Road. It must have been what? 6 a.m. this morning I was on it. People drive like absolute lunatics even at that time. That's why I come at that time because I think oh the roads will be quiet. Any chance. <sighs> Absolute mentalists. Loads of bikes. Not complaining about bikes, but someone else to dodge while folk are overtaking you on 50 mile an hour roads, but uh, they won't learn until they crash unfortunately. And lose a limb. But anyway, uh, car park's pretty busy down there. But once again, anybody's coming up the path. I'm going up. <laughs> I've paid nine quid again there for all day. The one at the inn here, I believe, is free. But uh, I didn't fancy the long walk back after coming down from Ubarrow, so I thought I'd get that done this morning. Right, so we're nearly at the top of the first rise now. I believe that's about halfway. But bloody hell, it's never ending. <laughs> it's going to be a bit demoralising seeing the rest of the hill once we get to the top of here. But I think the clag is kind of lifting as we get higher. So I'm not fully in it yet. And uh, yeah, that's good news for the views. It's oh, a lot of work. Right, here we are. Finally, just at the top of this rise. Oh, is that a little bit of flat grass? <laughs> Come on. I'll take anything I can get on this hill. Oh, look at this. <laughs> We're not going up for three meters or so. Oh, there's another little node. And then the biggie behind it. Probably a good thing I can't see it because it would just demoralize me. I have a sit here. Have a drink, recoup some energy and tackle that. see it faintly edging up through this scree a bit of rock working out to the top enjoying this steady progress a few people coming up behind us now but can't let that demoralize you everyone's got their own pace and enjoyment just stick to it you'll get there scree So we're about 650 meters up, 150 to go. The views are still somewhat there, which is uh, good news. But yeah, there's no real, one real path up this hill. I think we've strayed from one and found another, and there's others going off left, right. Right, 
Here we are at the top of the second rise. That's one last pull up of about 100 meters up this grass verge. A few people coming up now. Ah, one more false summit, sadly. <laughs> But we're here now, I think. It's gotta be that. Not too much more. Nice grass path back. It seems fairly gradual from here. Thank Christ for that. Oh, I need that cup of tea. Oh, yes. Summit of the first win right of the day of Kirk Fell, 802 meters. I think it might be this one with the wind shelter here. Cairn over there. The other them two must be the summit. There he is. Well done, Dave. Well done, Nick. Summit of Kirk Fell. And I found a seal skin glove someone's lost. <laughs> Just like the one I lost on Thunakar Knot. Right, here we are on the summit of Kirkfell. Well done, Dave. Well done, Paul. <laughs> well done, Nick. There we go. Kirkfell, 802 metres. Cheers. Oh, yes. And yeah, I'll put it on camera. Where's it at? So we've got it. I have just found this glove. So this glove is yours. Message me and I'll post it to you. I'll take it yam. Um, I'll put it on the Facebook groups and stuff like that. But yeah, seal skin glove. Sizes it large, black. Yeah, I know they're quite expensive. I lost mine on Thunder Car Knot. You might have seen on the Langdale Pikes video. Right, I just thought I'd have a little wander to this cairn over here just in case it is actually the summit. And then I think we're going to be following these poles here, metal bars. They take you down into the call I believe and I was led to believe there was possibly a second summit up here but I can't see anything higher or well, I can't see jack shit at the moment but uh, alright we'll get on top of here just in case uh, Dave's eat higher than me at the moment so that must be the summit over there So we're just heading down Kirkfell to the call now. I think there's about 1400 meters on this entire loop. And we've done 800 of them, so the majority of the work's really done. It's just quite some mileage left to go over to uh, Pillar. So it's quite a stingy descent from Kirkfell to navigate first. see down onto a couple of little turns you can see the path just before it goes there all the way up to pillar so hi this is the sketchy part of the descent that i was kind of aware of it's quite a sheer drop or there is a gradual route that we're taking here but it's very slippy and there ain't much room for mistakes here so I right, we've just came around the other side of this big rock here. That is possibly an alternate way down, but it's quite a drop. Uh, looks a bit more grippy this side, but this side's more gradual. We've made it anyway. Path straight forward to the call now. All right, check the views while I can get them. But that's us out of the clag before we ascend back into it on pillar, but it's nice at this point. You can see down onto the old youth hostel just below I think it's haystacks just up there high crag in the clag so yeah 600 meters or so 800 meters so yeah clouds at about 800 so we might be in it until we get round to u barrow if it doesn't improve but i just about down from here now Oh, 
it to you. And the rest is still quite a chunk to go down. I don't think this path will be bad coming up on, but I'm not coming down it ever again. <laughs> Once is enough. Hell of a lot of people go out of pillar today. This path's filling up quite uh, dramatically. It's trying to come out of the flags, just yeah, I think it's lingering at about 800 metres, sadly. But anyway, right. <laughs> That's us just about down the difficult section back to the call now. And I can't recommend this route to people. The, the, I think it's the Greater Moresdale Horseshoe. Just skip Kirkfell. That is not easy. I feel for the young lad there. He, he can't have done much scrambling like that previously. <laughs> He's going to have nightmares tonight. Oh, this is just a nightmare. So I, I won't be doing that again. But yeah, just back down to the call here. And then the path's nice and grassy and gradual. Right, here we are at the pass. I think our path's going to take us just up here following this fence. It's gradual along to pillar, but I have to say that's probably one of the most difficult things I've ever done, if, if not the most difficult. Oh, there's nothing else like that path in the Lake District, so I'd urge you, if you're doing this route, probably skip Kirkfell or go down a different route because that's not fun. So Dave and Nicholas have decided to go back down to Wasdale via the pass there. I think Kerfell's took it out of them both. It's taken it out of me to be fair, so good on them for, for doing that. That's what I'm saying, he's an experienced walker, more double, triple where I've got. And he found it tough, I think, so yeah, if you... Best advice is just don't do that descent from Kirkfell. But yeah, it's a gradual ascent up to Pillar from here, but it is a fair number of miles still. So that was the point of no return really, because there's no easy route back down.
Right, that's just us down from Steeple. In the video there, you've seen us pick up Pillar. We went over, I think it's Black Crag or Black Star. Uh, but then the wind right of Scott fell and we've came, followed the fence down here and up to Steeple. I'm sorry I can't bring you the video I wanted to on this route. It's just absolutely brutal. But I needed to get them done. I'm, I'll come back one day and do it in, in nice weather. But oh my God, I should get the hell off these mountains. Red Pike next and then U Barrow. Quite a few folk out I've seen. An old fellow there in his shorts and t shirt. <laughs> he must have been about 68, 70. Just anyway, good on him. Anyway, let's get back over to Scorefell and we'll find the path towards Red Pike. Let's go. Right, so we've just climbed out of the depths of hell of Steeple. I'm sure it's a nice place, but it doesn't feel like that today. Anyway, I'll be glad to find this path that takes us down to Red Pike. Ah, fuck! Right, here we are back on Scorch Fell. I believe the summit is actually on the wall. There's a little cairn that we touched. But anyway, we're going through the wall and the path should be on the other side. Right, found it, the path. The paths are very uh, faint up here. So if you've got no navigation device and it's like this, you're pretty screwed. You could walk anywhere. It's quite kind of rolling green hills as well till, till it isn't anymore, so I definitely need a navigation device so coming out in this. Right, yeah, still just heading down Scourge Fell. And what I've noticed is I'm absolutely soaking. It's not even raining. <laughs> the atmosphere must be so thick. It's just sticking out. Oh, there it is. It's had a bit of everything this walk to <laughs> annoy me. Bog now. Great. Watch me guy flatten my face doing here. Right. Halfway up Red Pike. And I'm just thinking, don't you dare clear up now. That would just be taking the Michael. I've taken everything you can throw at me today. And I've won. Nearly. So keep your views. I don't want them. Don't clear now. Test me, oh lord. Is this it? Is this red pike? Does it look very red to me? I think you might be a phony. Ah, this must be it. It's starting to look a little bit red now and we're going up quite significantly, so it must be red pike this one. And then it's the final boss of you, Barrow. Come on. Here we are, approaching the fifth Wayne Wright of the day, number 212 for me of Red Pike. Jesus, that's a drop. Oh, yes, we bag it. One more to go, all the way down to you, Barrow. <laughs> wow. Not bad, not bad. Right, let me get a rock. You'll do, you're nice and red. You're coming home with me. Oh, I'm definitely going to come back and do this again, Anna. What am I missing out on? I had decent views on Pillar, you might have seen in the video there. I chopped in a few pictures of what it's like on a nice day. I had to, otherwise, the video is all in clag today. <laughs> but uh, I've enjoyed it, I've enjoyed myself. What a round. There's enough to see even in the clag. There's all these big hulking rocks that just appear out of the mist like giants. It's, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. Okay, so we're just heading down Red Pike now to the col below U Barrow. It's a straightforward path. Lovely ridge walk, I imagine. It was even today, so yeah. Let's find the bottom of this and, and uh, I believe it's quite sketchy going up you Barrow, so I haven't been looking forward to that, but it can't be any worse than what I've done today, especially the descent of Kirk Fell. <sighs> Never again. Holy shit, I think there's going to have to be a mountain rescue call out there. Just followed a young couple down there. 
and they had a dog on a lead and they let it off the lead at the bottom of the, at the top of the crags and it just bolted into the mist gone They're shouting for it now up there Stay and help, really, if I did. Not any chance. It's not coming to its owner's call. It's probably out of out of hearing range. No, even mountain rescue ain't gonna have a chance of finding that. Such a small dog. There's all sorts of places it could be. Require a big, a big team coming out. Right, here we are. Just approaching the call between you Barrow up here. You can see where we went up this morning now. I believe it's Kirk Fell, just directly in front of us. Clag levels stayed the same all day. And just covering the summit of you Barrow. So, well, at least we've got some views to speak of here. So I'll fill my boots with them. Enjoy them because it's not going to last long. <laughs> but, hi. I can hear a dog barking, but I think it's down in the valley. <laughs> Look, the dog could be anywhere there and probably not in the visibility line. Let's put a right dampener on the end of this video. I apologise. I feel for them. God, we're devastated. I can hear it back. The owners are there. I'm pretty sure it's over there. I can't see it, but that's where the barks are coming from. I better film this. It's actually over there. I can see the dog. It's chasing the sheep. There, there. Oh my God, it's going to get the sheep. Gonna be an accident here. This is bad. Oh my god, it's grabbed the sheep. I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding. I know you can't see it on this camera, but it's over there. I'll go and tell them. Wow, what a stressful 30 minutes. To summarize what I've witnessed a young couple descending a mountain top of those crags there descending red pike they let the dog off the lead it's clearly spotted a sheep and bolted into the mist now you can't see five ten feet away and the crags go off in all directions can't see it now so they were up at the top searching for it i've came down and heard it barking over there um it's chased the sheep and it's got the sheep i think I'm not sure it'll kill it. It was a quite a small dog, but I went back and shouted up at them. It's down there. And they've gone and got it. So I reunited, I think. But uh, that dog shouldn't be getting any treats tonight. Well, right, finish off you, Barrow. Just here. Right, on a lighter note, this is kind of a fun scramble up you, Barrow. I don't know what I was worried about. A few paths going off in various different crags, but aye, it's all there. Uh, not much more. Get the job done. Six for the day. Oh, hi. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Really. Right, I found the extra fun bit. Wow, look at this. I'm glad the wind's gone up this level. I'm glad the dog's been found. I'm glad I'm nearly bloody finished. What a big day this has been. Felt longer due to the wind and near views, but we've done it, almost. And we can be proud of ourselves. Yeah, just a quick update. I found the spicy bit. Not pleasant. Oh my god. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this route. Just go around the gradual path up the back. I think I'm capable of this. But uh, 
okay. Not a lot of room for error. Oh, that's a sight for sore eyes. Bloody hell. I think you can tell there's a path because there's got like gravelly bits that have been trod on, but. Oh, thank God. Right, up here next. Wayne rank number 213. <laughs> Might be the toughest yet. Oh, right. Oh, I'm gonna have to put you away. I can't grab on and uh, hold the camera here. Look at this. Just bloody end me. I'm having a lot of fun, but the stressful thing I've had. <laughs> I just want to be up here. I can see a can there. Hopefully that's the end and it's just a ridge after that. Right. I think here we're just about ah. Uh, and please tell me, for God's sake, they're not bringing that dog up them crags. I can hear them down there, but might be on the bypass path. Oh, jeez. Right. One last push. Oh no, two big pushes. Right. Surprising how long you barrow is. It doesn't look that big from doing by Kappa. But I've been walking for 84 years and I'm still not at the other end of it yet. Right, here we are on the sixth and final Wainwright of the day of you barrow also the final Wainwright of the Western Fells and also my 213th we'll take it thank you right get the fuck off this mountain you barrow the Western Fells complete cheers Right, I've been walking 184 years now and this might also be the summit I guess so for anyone who's got OCD I came to this one as well Yano yeah, yonder looks higher though so uh, we'll count it as done we doing we go oh I tell you what what a difficult bloody little fell you barrow is both ends I imagine it's all right coming up this way but you're gonna have to go down some way or another the screes down the front which don't look pleasant the route i came up we're going down that way you're gonna have to come back down this way it's tricky tricky little fell oh i say what a testing walk this has been it's not going to be one of my best videos but it's probably one of the most challenging walks i've ever done i've been walking the best part of 10 hours now i think god knows how much i sent Anyway, picking our way down here. Oh, oh hey, that's a drop. Oh, let's see better around here, I think. Oh. I hope this is the right path. I've seen one branching off that looked easier. Jesus. I'm not expecting to go down that one. I think I've made a mistake here. There's no way that's a path. Oh, massive fucking drop. Maybe one there. Oh god. Uh, nah, I'm gonna, gonna aim for that path over there that I missed. I think I need to go back. Right, that's most of the way down you barrow, but what an awful path that is. I wonder if I've missed an easier one, but this is just steep, slippy, dangerous. I can't believe there's more accidents not reported on here. That's really bad. Both ends. So uh, if you're going to do you barrel, just take extra care. Think it through. I'm almost out of my depth here, to be fair. But anyway, I think I found a sort of a path, but uh, it's not easy. Oh, relief. Finally, some stability. <laughs> but, uh, nearly back down now. Big curves round. 
I need to walk along to the lake and then back to the National Trust car park. Right, that has been a slog, but here we are at the famous style that so many people snap a photograph on, which will take us back down to Wastwater. You can see the lake now, just out of the clag, but I, I thought I'd better wrap up the adventure from here. Oh, what a day. Started this morning on Kirk Fell, followed by Pillar. We went round on to Scourge Fell, Steeple, Red Pike, and we've just descended U Barrow as we speak. I just want to say thank you to Dave Hewitt for coming this morning, helping me get up Kirk Fell, and his son Nick, spot on lad. And uh, yeah, I'm absolutely spent. It's been in excess of 10 hours walking now. I just need to get back to my car. So I just want to say thank you for watching. This has been the Moresdale Horseshoe. We now have one win right remaining, Binzy, weather permitting. So I just want to say thank you all for watching, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you back out on the fells very, very soon. Peace.